You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. But I will not be outworked. Period. It's such a simple, basic concept. It's the guy who is willing to hustle the most is going to be the guy that just gets that loose ball. There's only one thing you cannot purchase. There's only one thing you cannot buy. And that's what real beef do. That's something you're going to have to do. You got to put more energy and you got to put more effort in your stuff than anybody. So you getting up at four and it ain't working. Get up at three thirty. So you read the book once and then you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. If a person leaves at six, you leave at eight. If a person makes a hundred calls a day, you make 200 calls a day. If somebody practices three hours, you practice five hours. If somebody practices six hours, you practice eight hours. If someone reads two books, you read four books. Just do a little bit more. Because there's somebody out there who wants your spot. And so you gotta embody excellence. There's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving. You're starving for greatness and starving for success. You start training, train like it's your life. Not a game, like it's your life. Like this is the last opportunity, the only opportunity. See a guy like me? I knew someone was better than me. There's more talented people than me. Probably more talented than you. But you might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. You aren't gonna outwork me over three years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. You might think I'm not that, I just keep coming. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were going to get tired, they were going to flinch, they were going to get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. They spend all their damn money. I'm not going to do that stuff. I'm going to save money. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to keep getting wild. I'm going to stay relentless. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you're studying without coach. When you're putting in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired. When you change your music. It's the process that makes you sweet. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, you got to be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you that when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you, you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word, it ought to illuminate from you. No alarm clock needed, my passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act, whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do.